Hello! Welcome everyone to uh, Sir Dork Live episode number six. Number six. And uh, yeah, obviously there's we have, we have a guest with us. Um, so yeah, this is our sixth episode. We are six weeks strong. I haven't missed anything yet. Um, thank you everyone. First of all, just the, the response I've gotten from these, uh, Sir Dark Live has just been fantastic. Uh, every time I come here and there's a bunch of you guys even waiting like, <clears throat> like six hours beforehand or something a couple times, which is just amazing and fantastic. Uh, and it makes me really happy. So thank you all for all the support <clears throat> and just the, the response I've gotten from doing this Sir Dork Live show every Thursday at 9.30 p.m. every single Thursday. Every single Thursday. <clears throat> so, um, so yeah, anyway, if you're new to Sir Dark Live, what we do is we'll open up some figures, we'll talk about figure news, we'll do stuff about toy photography, sometimes we'll do some editing, all kinds of fun stuff, um, and it's been a really great show. And every single time, the video is also saved on the channel for later on, too. So if you are watching this live, thank you for being here. Uh, and if you're not watching this live, uh, still thank you for watching. Uh, and if you accidentally clicked on the video and you clicked out right away, thanks for doing that too. That's totally, <laughs> that's totally awesome. Um, and there's also, there also will be timestamps below in the video description uh, too, if you're watching this uh, not live. So everyone, we got 24 people here right now. We got Cyberwolf, uh, Beastie Blake, Fallen Photography, Rosa Raza, Gregu is here. Hey, Gregu. Uh, but uh, we have a very special guest with us today. We have Sweetheart Harley. That's me! Um, Sweetheart Harley, would you like to um, tell us a little bit about yourself? I'm a Harley Quinn cosplayer, so you can follow me on Instagram at sweetheart.harley. Um, it's right below, right He there. is my photographer and videographer. I have a bunch of content up there. I, I do. I make my own costumes, and I make all my own props. So that's my main thing is Harley. And we also um, are like life partners. We live together. Um, so, yeah, that too. <laughs> um, Mandible Smasher, thanks. Dude, thank you so much <laughs> for the super chat. You are the man. Um, notification set to stun. Um, well, if, it, if the show stuns you that much, um, then <laughs> I'm not even going to try and make this funny. Um, seriously, dude, thank you so much. Siva, I see you in there. Hi, Siva. Thanks for being here, dude. Um, so um, today uh, we got our first guest here on the, uh, on the, the Sir Dark Live show. Um, first of many, I'm still trying to figure out all this different stuff that uh, I can do here on uh, the YouTube Live uh, stuff. Uh, there's so much that I can do, um, and so I really just want to getting started, getting started figuring out all the fun stuff, and uh, that's why we got Sweetheart Harley here. So, but today, uh, the actual agenda for today's show is we have a bunch of figures to open up. We have the entire wave of the McFarlane Suicide Squad figures. So, let's get started. They're all right here, by the way. So, number one, which I'm sure we'll probably be opening up first, we have Harley, obviously, Harley Quinn. Actually, sorry, we have a, a pants figure <laughs> plus a free Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn comes free with the pants figure, so crazy, right? Uh, so yeah, there's Harley. Uh, then we got Peacemaker. Um, so yeah, he's really cool. We got John Cena. Uh, we got Bloodsport, uh, which the more and more I look at this, um, <laughs> the more and more I look at this figure, I just keep seeing Deathstroke. He does not look design-wise like Deathstroke at all in the movie or at all, but when I look at this figure, he kind of does. <laughs> uh, and then we got our boy, everyone's favorite, Polka Dot Polka Man. Man. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the, I mean, yeah, these figures are awesome, um, but the main reason why I wanted to get all of these is if you did, if you notice, there is a King Shark build a figure piece in every single one of these. So Polka Dot Man has uh, the head and the neck, uh, and Bloodsport has the torso, and um, Peacemaker has the arms. And Harley's got the badonk. And Harley has got that shark badonk. Um, and so we're going to open all these up, and we're going to put King Shark together on the show, and I'm really excited. Uh, just <laughs> um, King Shark is just fantastic. Uh, we're also going to talk a little bit about the movie. Um, I mean... 
we're not going to we're not going to talk about any spoilers because uh, I don't want to spoil anything because uh, I want everyone to go and see this movie. I really would like like I want everyone to go see Suicide Squad because it's so damn good. We we saw it in the theater uh, and then we saw it uh, on HBO Max again later on. I want to see it in the theater again. And we, it was just spectacular. Whether or not you're a DC fan or you're not a DC fan or you're a movie fan or wh whatever fan you are, this movie is fantastic and it actually it's not People are not seeing it enough because um, you know there's a there's a ton of stuff going on. But if you had the chance to see this movie, whether or not in theaters or um, on HBO Max, if you have HBO HBO Max, just watch the damn movie. If you can see it in theaters, obviously your experience will be ten times better. But um, but yeah, but yeah. And Greg, I see your <laughs> comment. Another shark. I guess there are reoccurring shark themes oh, in my wearing, photos. He was wearing shark socks earlier. I was wearing sharks. My mom got me uh, some shark socks, and I was wearing those earlier, but they're very sweaty now, so I had to change them. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, uh, we're going to open up these figures, talk about the movie. Uh, we're going to put King Shark together, uh, and that's um, that's going to be the show. So, yeah, Rosa Raza says it is rated R. Yes, it is a rated R movie. It is a very hard R. It is a hard R. It is a hard R, but I, I just have to speak on the behalf of our Lord and Savior, Harley Quinn, here. That is pointing to the pants. Um, <laughs> I hated the first Suicide Squad movie with a deep burning passion. I actually have a podcast, um, Sweetheart Harley, with Harleen. Um, you can find it on my, my Instagram or just go to sweetheartharley.com. I, I list all my podcasts there. Um, hated the first Suicide Squad movie. Loved Birds of Prey. But this movie gave me the Harley Quinn that I have always wanted to see in a live action movie. So if you are a Harley Quinn diehard fan, you need to see this movie. Because she is... Everything and so much more in this movie. And that comes from somebody who has been reading the comics since 2000. I was born six days before her first appearance. Like, I am Harley ride or die till the end. And this movie gave me the Harley that I always wanted. And even if you're not a Harley fan, uh, even if you're just, you think she's fine, you think she's okay, she's just there. Or it you, will change your or, opinion of her. Or no, well, or if you love Harley, it's it's you're gonna love the movie. Um, I don't want to talk too too, just like I'm not. No one paid us to talk about this. We just really like the movie. I wish they paid um, us to talk about it. I could talk about Harley all day. Yeah, and I also, I see Ronan photography says, hand, <laughs> hand, uh, and um, Liquid Momentum says, bird. So yeah, I mean King Shark is. He's there's so much to love about him. There is so much, and there's there's nothing not to love about him. There's nothing not to love about this entire movie. Yeah, seriously, I agree. If you guys want to hear a full spoiler and non spoiler review, I do have a podcast on my. Well, I have a non spoiler review on my YouTube under Sweetheart Harley, and under that I have linked my full podcast which is non-spoiler and spoiler review of all my thoughts and insights on the movie if you have seen it and that's like a 40 minute long podcast so go and go and listen to that after if you want also all of her links are uh, in the description too I have everything linked in there Thanks. so okay um, let's start opening this stuff up let's start opening it up um, we're not gonna open up Harley first because you know we don't want to save the best for last I mean, Best for last, whatever. But I want you guys to tell us what figure to open up first. I'm going to um, leave it to you guys. Should we open up Peacemaker? Should we open up John Cena? Plus the arms. Should we open up Bloodsport? Uh, I'm going to just look at the first answer we get. Or should we open up Polka Dot Man? Polka Dot Man. I know Polka, if you haven't seen the movie, you're like, I love who, the Polka Dot Man. who the heck is Polka Dot Man? <laughs> he is, a, he is a, one of the reasons that makes the movie so great. He, he is, he's fantastic, and I have a lot of really great photo ideas with him. He was a diamond sure. in the rough, for sure. Oh, Sonic movie. Burst, goodbye. Uh, thanks for being here. Thanks for being here, man. Have a good night. Okay, um, the first um, person in the live chat, Connor Mason, says John Cena. All right, let's open up uh, Peacemaker. Let's open him up. So, um, I'm going to bring us down to here. Here we go. Here he is. So, yes, 
Um, by the way, we got all of these at GameStop. All, all of them. All of these figures were at GameStop. We found um, Harley first, and I saw her, and I'm like, oh! <gasps> Because I thought she was going to be really difficult to find, and I'm sure she is now, but she was the first one that we found, and she's just been sitting on my and, shelf in the box for like two weeks. And I, I bought it for her on my birthday. Yeah, he, he did. <laughs> um, but it's, it is actually kind of a funny story, because... Um, so King Shark also... is He's the Build-A-Figure in this wave. You can you know p p piece him together, or you can also just find him as is, as a Walmart exclusive. Uh, and I, I really just wanted to find the Walmart exclusive and just him, and that's it. But um, couldn't find him. Um, people who pre-ordered him seem to be like the only people who found him. Um, so then I was like, all right, maybe I should just get them all <laughs> to, to get King Shark. Hang on, we're stuck here. And then we went on the toy hunt. That wasn't supposed to happen, but um, he's connected to the to the back part. Um, all right, so we have a knife to cut him out. And so, actually, what's really funny, the story does go on. When we found Harley on my birthday at GameStop, we sorry that this is so loud. I hate doing this part. Um, uh, Do you want scissors? Maybe. She's gonna get scissors. But when we found Harley, sorry, this is so loud. If you're using headphones, I'm really sorry. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is incredibly frustrating. Okay, when we found Harley, um, all the other figures were actually there with her, and we're like, let's just get Harley, haha, <laughs> because she loves Harley Quinn. Uh, <laughs> And then later on, I realized that I wanted them all, and of course they were not there when I went back. So I had to travel all over the place. I had to go to Saratoga, uh, I had to go over to Rensselaer. Um, so multiple different game stops to get this guy, to get all of these guys, uh, which was a quite the pain in the butt. But I did end up finding them all. I had to call around. My ears! Sorry guys. Sorry, guys. We have scissors now. We have scissors now, so this will not be... Thanks, B. Um, quite as bad. I'm sure there'll be some louder ones. But he looks pretty good. I'm, I'm happy with what McFarlane has been doing with the DC figures. Uh, I definitely like them a lot more than... Um, than what Mattel was doing at the time. Always oh, on doesn't come out. Well, there you go. While I'm opening this guy up, I gotta get King Shark out of here. Um, but yeah, I, I've been. What do you? What have you guys been thinking of the McFarlane? Um, what McFarlane's been doing with the DC license here? What have you guys been thinking of it? There we go. There we go. Almost done. Wow, that was that took way too long. So we have two arms. <laughs> and and yeah, um, they look. He looks. Look at that joint. That is actually kind of an interesting. Uh, <clears throat> Hello, everyone who's here. Thank you so much for being here. That dude says scissors. So, one one thing. Anytime I open up a figure, I, I to, actually told this story on a post once. But anytime I open up any new figure, I, I will uh, smell it. immediately. Well, yes, I'll smell it. But I'll give it to her, and I'll be like, "Look at look at the new figure. What do you think?" And um, she always puts them in these most um, ridiculous, magical not ridiculous. Girl poses. Yeah, they're magical girl poses. So, and there it is, in action. Oh. Um, so, Peacemaker, I'm going to have the same complaint with one of the other figures. All he comes with is this sword. He doesn't come with any guns, uh, which is fine, but I honestly don't... I don't remember him using a sword. He has a sword in the movie. He's got a sword. He's got a really long, like, Desert Eagle-looking pistol. 
Uh, and then he also has uh, an axe that he uses. But he just comes with the sword. Uh, and honestly, I would much rather have a gun. And Bloodsport is the same way. He uses the sword like... I don't know. I would much rather him come with a... Um, much rather him come with a gun. <laughs> Connor Mason, thank you, man, for all the kind words you are throwing out here. I appreciate you being here. Seriously. Everyone who's here, thank you. Seriously. Um, Pugzer says weapons are weak. What a ripoff, says Acumen Ashton. I mean, luckily, as a collector, I have a lot of accessories from a lot of figures that I have bought. Uh, so I have a lot of guns that I can put in these guys' hands. Um, and if you look at one of his hands here, it's definitely made to be holding a, a gun. Because his, his finger is like this, like it's holding a gun. Um, so I don't really know what, who, you know what I bet you will happen? Because McFarlane also, often will come out with like one figure and then another variant of the same figure uh, with a different paint job. And you know what, I bet you a different gun, and that's probably what they're going to do. Um, how much are the McFarlane figures, says that dude. They're actually, they're... At GameStop, I got them. They're twenty four ninety nine each, or so twenty five bucks, which is a little bit, a little bit high. Um, but that's GameStop in general is going to be a little higher. I think Walmart or Target will be a little bit, um, a little bit less. But um, this figure, I, I like. I think he looks great. I think he looks great. I think he feels great. I think they nailed, actually nailed, like the his body type, which um, in, in a not weird way. Um, it looks and feels like him, and he's got a mask on, but his face looks good. His face looks good. Uh, one thing, though, about McFarlane that I don't like is their elbows. Look how weird that looks. Is that not... I mean, you can, you can get a full bend there, which is pretty sweet, but look how... Doesn't that look weird? That just looks... It just looks weird. Like, look at that. <laughs> that looks so weird. I don't know. Um, that's my one complaint. Um, I, I never will edit out joints in photos. I'll just leave them because it's, it's a toy, and I'm not going to try and edit that out. Oh, that looks good. Um, but I might do that when I if I use these figures and I don't like the way they look. My complaint is that his helmet doesn't come off. Yeah, he doesn't. Uh, I mean, I don't like when you can put a helmet on and off because it looks weird. But I would. I think a, an interchangeable head would have been cool. But um, especially at a $25 price point instead of a $20 price point. Um, yeah. Uh, um, Acumen Ashton says maybe grab a Stormtrooper gun. Yeah, see, that's probably what I'll do for the gun. I'll just grab another gun. Maybe not a Stormtrooper gun, but yeah. Victor uh, Soils, Solis says they're 25 at Target also. Got the whole set. Oh, nice. You got the whole set. And you put um, King Shark together. Nice. Awesome. All right. Well... Jaku the Great, thanks for joining the stream, dude. It is very strange elbow joints, says Tanner. Hey, Tanner. Um, thanks for joining, man. Okay, um, let's open up. Let's do Bloodsport next. Let's do Bloodsport. He's actually the... Uh, <laughs> do you want to open up? I'll, I'll do the scissor part, though, because I, I just got a really great system. Oh, um... I don't know if that's really going to work. Um, um, we might need to... Um, um, I might just... I might, I might just... Yeah. <laughs> Captain McKay. Hey, dude. Thanks for being here, man. Um, McFarlane hasn't quite locked the articulation sculpt seamlessness in my opinion, but I like their attempts compared to McFarlane's older figures. Um, yeah, you know what? You're absolutely right, Captain, because um, McFarlane, for so long, were basically, they looked real nice. I, don't, I remember Todd McFarlane came out with all the dragons, all the spawn stuff for obviously many years, and they were just like statues, basic, just like statues. Um, 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 but yeah, so you're, you're right, they have come a long way, but they still have a long way more to go, I believe. Alright, so this is where the loud part comes. Everyone, close your ears. <laughs> Freddy says w WTF. Um, I don't know, yeah, you know the colors on Bloodsport, says Azen. I feel like my weird. dexterity with these is good. 
it's definitely getting better. You're just like McFarlane. You've come a long way with your dexterity, with your King Shark hands, but you still have a long way to go. I should just Sorry. film TikToks from here on out with my hands. Well, those hands are going to be attached to a King Shark toy okay. soon. You can only share that with me. Um, all right, I think I got all the pieces out. So, are you sure? Buy shark hands. We got a shark torso here. Awesome. Gonna put him over there for now. Another sword. Is that the same sword? It's just a different like paint job. No, it's a different sword. Oh. It's definitely a different sword. Um, <laughs> Acumen Ashen says those dinosaur arms are making me die on the floor. <laughs> um, they're shark arms, actually. Close enough. Um, okay, here we go. Yeah, okay, blood sport. Just looking looking nice with the hands. <laughs> That's a big fig. And um Acumen I had the same complaint as I do with um with Peacemaker. He doesn't come with a gun. He just comes with these two little swords. Which I don't I don't I don't know why the um what what the create? Do you think do you think the swords were cheaper? To you think the swords are cheaper to make than a gun? I feel like are they really? Can we sword fight? Uh, uh. Are the are the swords cheaper to 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 make than the guns? I doubt it. But I don't know. There was a choice there. Somebody made that choice. I don't know if it was Todd or not. But here he is. Here's Bloodsport. He is. Um, I. Excuse me, honestly, he is... I was looking forward to him the least out of all of these figures. He looks fine. He looks kind of cool. You know what? He could use a nice little black wash, I think, because a lot of... Oh, no, we're getting out of focus here. Uh, is it my, sh my shark hands? Might be your shark hands. But, um... I'm going to put this here, hopefully, though. But, um, Bloodsport, uh, he's kind of just like a, a hard, just like blue all across the board with a little bit of um, orange here and there, so I might give a nice little black coat, um, wash it out, and then give him a, a clear coat afterwards, because I think that will look much better. Oh, you know what? Okay. I, uh, come on. It'll fix itself eventually. It usually does. But one thing I've noticed about these, and it might be cheaper, and that's why, but I like it. So there's a soft, his torso is like a soft kind of hollow... I don't know if you can tell, but he's like a soft. Um, and I kind of like that because it gives him a little Ooh, more a little more he's movement. Really squishy. Yeah. I've heard DC or WB doesn't like guns with their toys. I'm not sure if that's true, but it might be considering their uh, movie stuff seems to not include guns. Uh, may just be a coincidence, though. You know what? Um, but if they're going to make like a hard R movie, they got to put the guns in with the toys. Well, I mean... I, I totally get if they don't, um, if they decide not to put the guns in figures, because figures, I mean, it is kind of weird with the movie being so, um, adult, but at the same time, dang it, at the same time, I can see them wanting to sell more toys to more kids, and then hopefully that, you know, there's less violence involved in the figure, Something like right, that. Right, so. but, like, kids aren't going to buy the figures that there they don't go. know anything about. You know, like, it's a hard R movie. The only people buying these are, like, grown adults. I don't, I don't, I, don't, I think, um, you know, if par you are, parents, parents if will you buy these for the kids. you are a child and you saw this movie, I am very sorry. Well, still, like, parents will buy figures for their, for their kids in general. Um, but, yeah. um, but that is a reasonable... It's a better explanation than I have, to be honest, Captain. So, um, I appreciate the insight, actually. Thanks for being here again, man. Everyone was here. Thank you for being here. So, we got Peacemaker, we got Bloodsport, 
Um, both looking good. I think Peacemaker is definitely the nicer figure of the two so far. Um, Vincent Lee says, oh snap, almost forgot to tune in. Thanks for not forgetting. <laughs> Fernando Alonso Espon Espinoza. Hey, Sir Dork, I'm your fan. Thanks for being here, dude. I appreciate it, man. Okay, so, so far, yeah, we're opened up these two figures, and so far we have a shark torso, and we have shark arms. King Shark's coming together real nicely. I really can't wait to open him up and put him together. I This is actually the first time I've ever completely gotten an entire wave to put it together a build figure I've never put a build a figure together I've never really been interested in any of the build a figures in general <gasps> can I open polka dot man yeah yes yeah definitely yes. Yes. all right I'm gonna move these two guys out of the way here's the knife cool cool I like I like the dots that dude says, swords are more violent because the sword goes through people and stuff. <laughs> um, well, I mean, they're both weapons. <laughs> Either way, a sword and, and, and a gun are both weapons, uh, and weapons uh, are violent. But I totally get how guns, in general, specifically, are, um, you know, parents and... People would want to gear away from that specifically. So he got <laughs> polka dot man comes with little polka this dots. This is a cute ring though, right? Like I don't, I don't know. Let's show on the camera. Hang on, I'm trying to put it on. That's so cute. You know what? You can have that. That's okay. He can have it. Okay. <laughs> do you want me to do the? Um... No, I got it. Where are the scissors? They are right here. So, I am a lady, and I'm going to open this like a lady. Okay, oh, so we'll, this attaches here? No, it doesn't. Yeah, probably. It, it, it's made to just clip onto his wrist and stuff. But um, So Polka Dot Man, James Gunn, when, when um, from what I've heard at least, uh, when you know deciding and writing the script for this movie, he specifically, he went and like Googled, like, what is the dumbest superhero ever? Um, and he... He loves using obscure characters anyway, so he can kind of form them and grow them like himself, uh, which I totally appreciate. But the the choice for Polka Dot Man is is, is so funny, um, and the thing is, he's just he is so stupid. He's the dumbest superhero ever, but at the same time, he's like one of the best characters in this movie. And when you see it, if you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, look at King Shark! Can, I see? can open his mouth. Yes. That's kind of cool. It's like you're not actually moving his bottom jaw at all. You're actually just moving his entire mouth. I don't know if you can tell um, the whole thing. Uh, but he looks great. <laughs> he kind of like his bottom lip is kind of like. But um, when you see, if you've seen this movie, you know what I'm talking about. Polka Dot Man is, is such a fantastic character, and I have some really great ideas. Uh, of what to do with fi with shooting him. Uh, we have a neck. Look at that. Is that a neck? I think that's oh, his... this is his belly. Oh, that's his belly. I thought this was his neck. This is just straight up gut. This is sh <laughs> King Shark gut. He's got a big belly. That's so funny. You don't have to plug your ears because I'm going to open this like the lady that I am. All right. Huh? I don't know if that's... She's just cutting up the entire package. I feel like this is a worse idea. No, I don't know how I feel. Um, <laughs> here, why don't you scoot it towards the camera a little bit. Um, <laughs> my wife is over here saying she wants Polka Dot Man. Sorry the loudness, guys. I thought I wasn't even loud. Okay. It's, it's unavoidable. <laughs> it's completely unavoidable. There he is. There he is. Why don't you put his glasses on him? Oh, yeah, I'm going to put his goggles on because he looks better. But uh, Mandible Smasher says my wife is over here saying she wants Polka Dot Man. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have a feel. At first I was like, you know what? Polka Dot Man is going to be easy to find. Nobody's going to want him. But then I was like, you know what? Maybe he's probably the hardest one to find because people who saw the movie love him, yeah. you know? 
Tanner says, Suicide Squad feels like a movie made by a director that got fired by Disney and needed to vent his frustrations. I mean, that in the most positive way possible. I don't know what this <laughs> I mean, that's kind of what happened. Um, that's weird. Yeah, so this looks like a wrist thing. But it doesn't fit. I tried the other one. It doesn't fit there either. I don't know what this would be for. Maybe then. an extra wrist. <laughs> yeah, I don't really... Are there instructions? Let me see that. Um, I don't know if that's that's piece of figure. Coconut man's down there. But, yeah, I don't really know what this is for. Does anybody know who has this figure? What is this for? The bokeh you could get with Polka Dot Man would be amazing, says Mandible Smasher. That's a cool idea, and you know, I didn't think about use, like trying to get some kind of cool bokeh for him. Uh, actually, my idea with him is I'm gonna, I want to get a bunch of Orbeez. You know those Orby things you see in, on the internet stuff because they're fun and they're bouncy and they're colorful? Uh, I totally want to get a bunch of Orbeez and take a really cool uh, picture with them all over the place with him going like shooting the polka dots and stuff. Um, but here he is. Um, I like how you can take his glasses off, but I'm definitely going to keep them on him uh, pretty much the entire freaking time. Um, he's everything you could want uh, in a polka dot man figure. Uh, and I like his hand choice. He's got a hand kind of like this, whoosh, like, which is like kind of like the shooting whatever polka dot hand. They definitely pack it for anti-theft, says Vincent. Yeah, they do. Um, it helps attach the polka dots to his arms, I believe. All right, all right, all right. I'm trying to figure that out, says, so how Tanner says that. Um, really? Are you sure? I don't know where it would go, though. Um, I don't know. To be honest, I probably won't even really use the <laughs> polka dot thing or this other thing anyway, but they're there. So thanks, McFarlane, for putting those in there. Accessories. Wow, awesome accessories. <laughs> but um, Polka Dot Man looks really, really great. Um, could replace his right gauntlet with that extra one. I don't know if the gauntlets come off. And at the same time, I'm like, why would I want to replace the gauntlet? It's the same thing. I'm, I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Um, but okay, I can tell you are um, <laughs> anxiously awaiting to open up Harley. So Polka Dot Man's here. I'm going to put the other pieces of King Shark over here with the rest while we open up Harley and we open up some pants. It's the badon. Uh, it's the same thing happened to me with, with Peacemaker. The, the whole thing is like attached. <laughs> Alright. Alright, I will do this one. What? Just, just this part, because oh. I had a really, really good system. Okay. Um, oh, Harley doesn't seem really to be... Uh, she comes with the javelin. Yes, so Harley uses a javelin. This is a really great reference because I, I'm going to make a javelin prop, so this is like a really great structural reference because it's very detailed, uh. which I'm honestly... I mean, it's not super detailed, but like I'm honestly surprised by the amount of detail they put in there. Um, but it's like bent. Like, why is it bent? <laughs> because it's it's cheap. I know. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's just like a cheap plastic and, you know, the the other props. You can straighten it out for a second before a video and then... Oh! She just did a really smart thing and popping her out of the package back there so it's not quite as loud. Brilliant. Good thing. <laughs> Orbeez are epic. That's such a great idea. Not gonna lie, says that dude. Thanks, man. So Vincent says, I believe his room... Here's your pan. Oh. I believe his uh, removable, his hand, so it looks like he's shooting the beams. I have a Wolverine that you can remove one of his hands and replace. Oh, okay, that makes a lot of sense. Thanks, Vincent Lee. All right. That might... Okay, so, okay, so look, look at Harley. Look girl here. See, my thing with McFarlane figures and Harley, I have the classic McFarlane Harley, and for some reason, they never get the eyes right. She's got, like, one eye looking center and one eye looking straight. And, like, my other Harley is like, uh... Like, if you've seen the classic Harley McFarlane did, like, her eyes, they're, like, half the closed. Series. The animated series one. Actually, I, mean, I don't think she looks that bad. She, she doesn't look that bad. I think that she's I good. I think that's actually... I that's... like that they included all of her tattoos. Yes. The dress is not movable. 
Her hair is not movable either, it's but... soft plastic? She does have the ability to do this. Alright, so Which she can go on her tippy toes. Alright! No, but like, she can <laughs> hang. <laughs> yes, she can hang. Okay, that's actually, that could be a cool photo idea, mm -hmm. hanging from some chains, like... Uh, With a key. Yeah. Going for the key. Except for... Um, well, we don't want to talk about it too much, yeah. but there's a really cool scene where Harley is hanging from chains. Yeah, um, I like how they included her little bows. Um, I do think that they made her look way more muscular than she actually is. Look at that! Look at that shoulder. Yeah, that is a, that is pretty. Overall, powerful. I think it's I think it's a really great figure. I think she's I, pretty solid. I can't wait to put her on display. Yeah, on the on the nice big Harley shelf. On the nice big Harley. Hang, uh, shelf. Hang Solo, how's it going, man? He says, "Do you and your girlfriend cosplay together with all these faces?" Um, I don't really cosplay. Um, there, at one point, we did. Uh, there was a really cool time when we went to a convention together. Um, I was Deathstroke. I made a pretty cool Deathstroke cosplay. Um, and she was Harley, obviously. And, uh, yeah, that was back when I thought I was I was into cosplaying, but um, I'm, I'm not Here he's so to cosplay with me now, so he takes my photos instead, which is a fair trade. It's a good, um, yeah, it works out nicely. I'm going to take out her base. Oh, yeah, she's all yours. You take the card out, too. I'm going to so take actually, the card out, and that's going to go on the shelf. Yeah, all of the... Uh, <laughs> All of the McFarland figures, at least the DC ones, those are the only ones I've gotten. Uh, they all come with a cool little trading card. So if you watched last time when I opened up uh, Dark Dark Ride, Dark Side and <laughs> Dark Side and Steppenwolf, they come with cool little collectible cards. Uh, I usually actually throw them away, but uh, it is kind of a cool thing to to collect as well. So that's that's pretty awesome. Um, Jeremy Jackson, hey man, says, uh, I do wish the figures came with uh, little Starro drones. You know what? Um, Jeremy, that is a great... I'm really glad you brought that up because I totally was wishing, like, man, I wish I had a little... Like, one that could clip on a face because I was like, man, I would love to just take a little Starro and put one over every single member of the Justice League <laughs> um, and do a whole, like, you know, like, th this Justice League and um, take a really cool photo of, like, you know, modern uh, live-action Justice League with... Um, with... You know, Starro from what you call it on there um, from Suicide Squad. Well, I thought that would be a really cool photo idea, but uh, I don't have any little thingies. Um, hi, J Rod says my mom. Hi, mom. Thanks for uh, thanks for hi. watching. Um, that dude says, do you still have the shark mask Mountain Dew sent you? You could pretend to be <laughs> King Shark. Um, that's really funny. That dude uh, says, <laughs> but so uh, on my Instagram a while ago, I opened up a package I got from Mountain Dew. Um, and it was a complete surprise. You still have I, that shark mask. And it came with a, sh a shark mask. <laughs> and I put, I put it on uh, during the live stream, and um, I do still have it. <laughs> so maybe when I take a photo with King Shark, I will... Um... Okay, but I'm really disappointed that Harley didn't pull this off in the movie, like her iconic over-the-shoulder. Are you sure she doesn't? Yeah, I'm sure she doesn't. I don't know. I feel like she So she's going to stay like this. Yeah, that looks good. That's a that's a good looking pose for the shelf, for the Harley shelf. Good looking pose, right, chair? Um, okay, so Wait, where's the shark? It's the, we're not we're not getting the shark. Where mask. is it? It's buried in the in the basement. Oh. Um, <laughs> but Never let's happened. let's do a quick review. We got Harley, and we got Bloodsport. Oh, you put um, the queen out of frame here. Oh. Uh, How dare you disrespect got, her like we that? Got, uh, <laughs> we got Peacemaker and we got Polka Dot Man. So quite a few other characters that have not, um, that were in the movie that are not in figure form as of yet. Um, so I'm wondering if McFarlane does, does a little bit more and um, makes a few more figures. That will be really cool. Captain McKay says, Gotta call it a night, but the figs look cool. I want to kind of get King Shark after how much I like the movie. Glad I caught the stream. Thanks, Captain. Hey, maybe you can find that Walmart gold label one. Um, it's basically, I think, the same figure, uh, to be honest. I think the pants are the only thing that's really different color. Um, good luck. Hope you find it, man. Thanks for watching. All right. Um, Mr. 
Mark Bodner. What's up, man? Thanks for the info about the Pokemon toys. Ah, yes, of course. Thanks for being here, man. Uh, so yeah, we got the whole squad. Uh, yeah, there's a bunch of other fig uh, characters I would love to see. I would love to see a nice Captain Boomerang. Uh, Ratcatcher, I'm surprised. No, nothing with Ratcatcher. Um, but yeah, I hope they do something, some kind of Starro, obviously not a giant Starro, but uh, I think that would be really cool. Vincent Lee, Vincent Lee says, I like Bloodsport. Um, same, I, they, they all look good. They look really good. I'm happy with them. Uh, to be honest, I think, um, Peacemaker looks the best. I think. Harley looks. Uh, Harley is, uh, probably both of them look. Harley looks. Um, and Harley it, always the, 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 best. the face sculpt is pretty good. I wouldn't say it's on the same level as like Hasbro's new um, mm -hmm. face technology, but um, I think she looks pretty good. I think they gave it their best effort. I think she looks pretty good. Um, but I think of, I think uh, Peacemaker is my favorite of them. So I'm gonna have to give these guys some guns, um, make some real gory shots with a bunch of blood. Because that's kind of what the movie is. Um, but, okay, here are the figures. They look great. They look fantastic. Um, so I think now it's time to put together King Shark. I think it's time to do that. Rakshith, hey man, says hi. Oh, Jeremy Jackson says, I'm praying for a Rat Catcher 2 figure so I can finally put all those Halloween rat toys. <laughs> use all those Halloween rat toys. Nice. Good idea. That would be really cool. That's a really good idea. That is a really good idea. All right. Do you want to put them together? I so, want the badonk. Here, well, well we got to check out the badonk first. Yes. Yeah, so the, the, we got a nice badonk. We got some hefty We calves. have some um, uh, poseable toes here. Yeah, that is pretty cool. McFarlane does pretty much do toes on every single figure. Well, look at that. Eyes. He is very dexterous. Wow. That does not look... <laughs> 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 Ouch. Maybe just walked around like that. Vincent, let's go. Let's see the shark. Buzz saw Gr eighty one says, uh, it's still lame that Warner Brothers won't let McFarlane include guns with DC figures anymore. Okay, so that that is that is um, um, Captain was talking about that. So interesting. That is that is the case. I need the belly. So yes, the belly is next. So here we go. We have literally just a straight we, up. We have his donut. Belly. It's a donut belly. It's just the gut. That's so funny. It's a donut. Pop it on in there. Am I doing it the right way? Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a, literally says off right there. Uh, here we go. Don't. Oh. Got it. That was a nice pop. I got right. that donut on. The belly. Okay, so the belly is in there. <laughs> His belly is so big. Just, he's going to be a heavy. Like, feel him. Feel him right now. Whoa. <laughs> Yeah, he's he's really heavy. He is very very heavy. Um, let's see. Peacemaker reminds me of Anti Man from Marvel. I see. I can see that. Absolutely, man. Says Vincent. Okay, so the the arms have to be popped into the. Can I pop in the arms? Yeah, you can do that. So the arms have to be popped in. So like this. Right, and then. Crap. This isn't easy. Okay, right. Yeah, right, left. Yeah, you got it right. And then. Oh, I know it'd be really bad if I just, like. Ah, oh, if I snapped it. Oh! They go in. Uh, I didn't realize that. Oh, much better. Here we go. And obviously, King Shark will always remind me of a street shark. Uh, if you. Um, Grew up in the 90s, you know, you know what I'm talking about. That's uh, not yeah. true. I grew up in the 90s, and I don't know what street sharks are. So. You know what street sharks are. but We were maybe. born the same year. So. Yes. I know what street shark is now. Pop it like it's hot, says Vincent Lee. It is, oh, these, these pop are, it like it's hot. Oh, all right. He's so heavy. Look at him. He's so heavy. He is perfectly to scale, I do have to say, with the figures, though. Yeah, that's a good um, comparison there. Yeah, I would say he's he is exactly on point. I like how he's like, ah. Uh. Hey, how you doing, Jared? Hey, um, Sarah Cotterwall, thanks for joining. Glad I could catch the stream tonight. Uh, you prepared for the Bad Batch finale? I am absolutely prepared. Um, I thought the p finale part one from before was a little underwhelming. It was, it, I liked it, but so I'm, re I'm ready for I'm ready for this finale. 
Uh, I don't think they'll do us wrong. Speaking of finales. Trey says he is huge. Hey, wait, 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 wait. What? There we go. That was not right. (laughs) She's she's humongo, says that dude. Do you want me to do it? I don't want to do it. Tanner says, I used to have all the Street Shark toys. Totally jawsome. (laughs) Nice. Jawsome! Uh, I'm going to have to watch Street Sharks again. But, um, yeah, there's a great movie. Um, I can't get it. Even with all of my Harley powers, I can't. I can't lock it in there. My hands are all sweaty. Oh, you know what? Sweaty. It was right. The way it was up like that. Sorry. Okay, wait. Let me try again now. Hang, can I... Uh... You messed me up. There we go. You were pushing down. Oh. The joint was this way. <laughs> Here he is! <laughs> he looks so happy, even with his mouth open. He definitely looks very yeah. happy. <laughs> He looks very Look at happy. those moves. No, he's got some nice pecs. No, those are totally... Well, I mean, he, he's got the donut. King Shark was always one of my favorites from the new 52 Suicide Squad, so I'm really Obviously. happy that they put him in this movie. Yeah, and yeah, they, um, they, they made King Shark a lot more lovable in the movie than he is in mm-hmm. the new 52 run. He has the same kind of, like, dummy. He's a dummy. He's a total dummy, uh, which I do like how... Um, they did that and um in the new 52 that we're talking about he is a hammerhead he's not like a, a great white looking shark kind of like how he is here um and from what i heard uh they did james gunn you know when they were designing the way king shark was gonna look they did consider the hammerhead uh shark look but um decided not to and i think that was a good i, th- I don't think that would have worked as good on screen Oh, Ew, wait. look at his wrinkly elbows. Ew. You know what? His elbows look better than all the other elbows do. Ew, but they're all wrinkly and gross. <laughs> look at that. Like, one inch lower and you're seeing butt crack. They should have honestly did that. There's no butt crack underneath. <laughs> I was just checking. There's nothing. It's just empty. We should just draw a little black line. <laughs> I can use my heat gun and then just, like, poke it in a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's not a lot of... Oh, there is a little bit. I was say, there's a little bit of articulation with his head. You can't actually move it up and down. I don't like it with his mouth closed. He looks weird. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I've got a lot of great ideas with King Shark that I want to do for... some A lot of very horrific shots. I want to do one where he's he's eating somebody. Uh, like... Um, rip a figure in half, basically, and um, so I can, you know, make it look like he's he's eating them. Even though his mouth isn't that big, his mouth is actually kind of small. Um, <laughs> here, wait. Uh, and then, oh, that just looks, <laughs> that actually kind of looks like pew. Um, but uh, the other thing is, I'm sh- and it's in the trailers and everything. There's a quick clip of him. King Shark literally grabs somebody and just rips him in half. Uh, and I'm definitely going to do that. I really want to go to like five below or somewhere cheap where I can find some cheap just like toys that are that will pass for an action figure, whatever. So I can cut them in half so that I can make this ripped up person with like bones coming out. Um, that would be, I think, really fun. And I'm totally going to do that. Uh, actually, one of the things about King Shark. <laughs> I just like patting on his belly. Uh, one of the things about King Shark on the other version that uh, he comes with, with um, actually, no, I'm gonna switch over back to this. Oh no, it's gonna start the thing. Sorry, but one of the things about the Walmart version of King Shark, where he's all he's all put together and not just the um, the build a figure, is he comes with uh, like a severed arm and a severed leg that's all like bloody and stuff, which I thought was actually kind of cool and would be. Um, a nice little touch for, um, you know, for shots with him. I think that would have been cool, but, um, we'll have to do without. We'll have to do without. Um, oh, Siva, have a good night, man. Thanks for joining. (laughs) Um, Dr. MacDo says, nom nom. Monster nom nom. Hey there, have you watched, uh, Marvel What If yet? 
Uh, I have not watched it yet. Uh, to be honest, I don't really have <laughs> a lot of interest in it, but I will. I will watch it just because. We are a DC family. We we are. We are a DC family. We okay, so we are a DC family, but we also we love Marvel. We love I'm we a love DC everything. Girl only. That's not true. We she likes them too. <laughs> Every time we go and see the new Marvel movie, she's like, "That was really good. That was really good." He's not wrong. Um, but no, we, we love both. We obviously DC is a um, it, it, we have a much deeper connection with those characters than we do with Marvel. But we still love Marvel. But I probably will give What If a shot. I probably will. Uh, from what I hear, it's it's really good. It's really good. I don't even know what that <clears> is, so I probably won't. <laughs> Uh, it's a new Disney Plus animated show, and it's just like oh, it's animated, no. But it's like different. Um, there's a there's a there's a what if comic line. It's like what if Spider Man had magic instead? It's just like it's like different cool. It's it's basically like it's similar to DC's uh, Elseworlds, but okay. um, called what if, basically. Uh, Brian Lexi Lou Productions says, "Hey Jared, hope you're um, well. Just tuned in. Thanks for tuning in, Brian. Um, so yeah, this King Shark is just." He's great. He's fantastic. How, look, he's like the size of my head. He's a big boy. He's a big boy. So if we compare him to he Harley, he's literally bigger than my head. I, don't, I mean, he's close. But so oh, we, if I go from the front of my chin, yeah, he's like he's taller than me. If you go from my chin, yeah, he definitely weighs that much. But he is a heavy boy. Scale wise, I think the scale's pretty good. Yeah, scale's really good. Scale's so pretty good. Um, my only complaint with him is like his mouth his mouth it looks good like it doesn't look bad I wish it was a little bigger like I almost wish like his whole cause like it doesn't go back very far wish it was a little bigger um it looks fine it looks good. I mean, I'm not. I'm not going to complain. I'm very happy with with this guy, and I'm just. I'm. I'm. I'm happy to own him, and I think he's going to look great on a shelf. Um, I think it was either yesterday. I think it was yesterday or the day before. Hot Toys also revealed. Um, I mean, they they go. They kind of revealed them already, but they did the official reveal of their King Shark um, with lots of photos and all the all the info about him, and he looks really good. He looks really good. He's not like super. He's not really very articulated. But, uh, they called him like. Um, I don't remember. They had some special name for it to make it sound like, oh, it's, he's a uh, 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 extra statue. Very, very articulated statue. Okay, so it's like it's a statue, but but he, whatever. But um, he looks really good. He looks really good. Um, Vincent Lee says his mouth should have been a slight bigger and deeper, too. Um, that's true. It isn't very deep. It's just kind of like goes right into the tongue. He's like, yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> but he looks great. He looks really good. Uh, I'm very happy with him. Very happy with Polka Dot Man. I know exactly what I'm going to do for him. You know, maybe I'll do a, a Harley photo. Maybe I'll do a cool Harley photo with, with the javelin slicing somebody. Definitely have some idea. javelin, mind. like, poking King Shark in the butt. And him being like, oh. You know what? Maybe you can do that for no. your Chaos Cutie page. That's okay. <laughs> Um, maybe I'll do like a Bloodsport Peacemaker kind of team up photo that would be kind of cool with some explosions or something. Um, I think that would be pretty dang cool. So, um, that's it. That's all we got for these guys. I'm definitely going to stick around a little bit longer. I'm just going to like, uh, I didn't really have anything else on the agenda today besides opening up the figures because I wanted to make that the main point. Uh, so I'm just going to, for the rest of the time, you can stick around, babe, as long as you want. Okay. Um, and I'm just going to talk with you guys. I'm just going to um, throw throw me some questions, whatever questions, anything you want. A little sleepy. No. We had a busy day. We did have a busy day. But, um, throw, yeah, ask me, ask us ask any, if you got any questions for, for Harleen over here. If you got any questions for me, throw them in the live chat and I will answer. Ask me, ask us anything. Um, so, 30 millimeter says, can can it make can you make stop motion with your special pictures? You know what? Um, you know I get that question actually pretty often with stop motion stuff like that. I've never tried it, and you know what? I I could give it a shot sometime. I have zero experience with it. It is kind of a whole new ball game, but um, I think you'd kill it. Really? Yeah, but it would just it would just take so much time, and you'd get frustrated when it wasn't loading. <laughs> I'd probably knock a figure I out. I am here to give you the truth behind <laughs> Sir Dark. 
Well, I mean, I, I I get frustrated just like every other toy photographer does. Not. Uh, I don't know about that. Every there, there's every once in a while it happens. Every once in a while. I've been, every, I, I've been really good lately though. Can you remember the last time I got pissed, super uh, super pissed off while trying to take a photo? Well, not while taking a photo, but your computer itself. Could you imagine oh. trying to do stop motion on your computer? That's that's a good point. I do. Like tw- twenty minutes ago, you were like yelling at it. I, I have like a weakness <laughs> with my. I get really angry, angry at technology when it doesn't when it doesn't he does. uh, cooperate with me. It's the only time he ever gets angry is at technology. <laughs> yeah, it's I'm I'm spoiled. <laughs> he could um, literally have like a bird drop like a massive like dumper on his head and he'd be like, <laughs> oh, this stinks. <laughs> But then, like, as soon as his computer is, like, a second slow, he's, like, swearing at it. Yeah. Yeah. I, um, I need to work on that. need to work on it. Um, so, Rakshith says, how did you create the intro song? Uh, that is a great, that is a great question. So, I actually didn't, I did not create it. But there is a fun story behind it. So, a long, long time ago, uh, years ago, I was in uh, a metal band uh, with my best friend's uh, the, ba- the band's name was Approaching Infinity, and I was the screamer in the band. Uh, and so one of the songs' names was Sweet and Sorrow Chicken. And that song is a piece of that, or the intro song is a piece of Sweet and Sorrow Chicken, piece of that song. Uh, and then recently we updated it because uh, my good friend Siva, he's all, all, often in the live chat, um, he went and re recorded it and made an all, all new version and everything, and then I added some video to it um and that's it and yeah siva was the guitarist uh, but he also mixes the music as well and uh yeah that's where it comes from Pro- approaching infinity <laughs> uh vincent lee um says oh wait sorry i don't want to brian brian says i was wondering what picture profile you use on your camera what picture profile um auto picture pro- uh, manual I, I mean, I shoot and I, I do use manual. If that's what you mean, like which setting? If and you know what, I'm I, I'm not even much of an expert when it comes to uh, to cameras. I kind of just learn as I go. But yeah, I, I shoot in manual and then I just adjust accordingly what I what I do. And as far as camera settings go, uh, the way I do everything with my camera settings, I have it all explained. I have a camera setting tutorial on my channel. Um, if you have any, uh, that that. I think it's pretty. I, I put in just about all of the info I know about camera settings in there. I tried to make it as easy to understand as possible because it's complicated. It's hard to understand, you know. So um, I would definitely check out that video, man, if uh, that could help you out for sure. Um, let's see. Freddie Van Nuenhuizen says, "Do stop motion." Um, don't uh, do stop motion. One of these days, I'm gonna have to try it. No, you don't. One of these days, I'll have to try it. Uh, let's see. Oh, Siva is still here. <laughs> he must have heard his his ears must have been ringing, and so he joined the stream again. <laughs> um, let's see here. Uh, Lunar Film says, "Hey, Jared, do you have any Godzilla figures? I bet you could make some cool pictures with them." Uh, Godzilla. I don't have any Godzilla figures. Um, I really would. I would. I've always wanted to get a bunch of like you know buildings uh, and shoot you know, large kaiju kind of style photos. I've always wanted to. I just haven't invested in the in the buildings and the settings for that kind of thing. Because I have a bunch of, I have like all the Pacific Rim figures. Uh, those would work perfectly with those two. And um, I, would, I would love to get, if they made like a six inch Megazord, I'd want to do some Power Ranger stuff with that too. Godzilla as well. So um, I definitely plan on that in the future, my man. Uh, so, Vincent Lee, sorry, uh, do you have the death metal Wonder Woman figure, the one that comes with the Dark Father BAF? No, uh, I don't. I don't have really any of the, I don't, I don't have any of the death metal uh, figures from McFarlane. I absolutely loved the series, the storyline. Uh, well, I mean, I liked it a lot. It started out really good, and then it just, a lot of Scott Snyder stuff just gets really crazy, if you read, um, just gets, just like, I swear he just makes stuff up as he goes. I don't know if anyone reads, likes to read comics, but um, yeah, it's just it just gets crazy. But I do really love um, what um, I love the the Death Metal series. But I haven't gotten any figures. I, th- I probably will get Superman because uh, I really like the way he looks. Harley. That's true. Harley does have a really cool and unique design in Death Metal. Um, 
I can see that. I can see that. I can, that'd be a cool figure. Mm -hmm. Even though she's got a buzz cut. That's fine. In there. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, Duck Film says, can you please do toy photography with the articulated icons ninjas? Those are really cool. I remember when articulated icons was kind of like still in like a like Kickstarter or whatever it was. I think it was. And I thought they were really cool. Um, and I think they look like they're really like quality figures with really great articulation. They look good. But um, as, far, as far as they go, I just don't really have much of an interest in having the ninjas. To be honest, I probably won't ever get them. I think I think they're really cool, and I think the, what they've done with making them and coming out with them, I think, is really cool. But um, just not really for me. It's not really for me. Um, let's see. Robbie Robbie Keen says, "I came back. Did you build the shark? We did build the shark. He's right here. He looks good, right? He looks really good. Wait." Uh. And. <laughs> anyway, yes, we built him. He's awesome. He is really, really cool. Uh, Vincent Lee says, "Oh, there's a storyline for the Death Metal. I absolutely love the line so much. I got Batman and Wonder Woman. Did my first toy shoot with Batman last week. Oh, cool. Um, yeah, the um, it finished probably about six months ago, I think. But um, it's really good. And there's kind of a." a, a they, they came out with Dark Knight's Metal first a uh, few years back, too, and it's kind of like a sequel, but um, definitely very, very interesting. I think Death Metal is it's better than, than Dark Knight's Metal was, but really good. Really, really cool stuff. I would definitely recommend giving it a read, especially if you like big um, uh, big event kind of storylines in, in comics. Um, Lunar Film says, I have a crap ton of NECA Predator figures. They would be awesome to take pictures in an outdoor jungle setting. Yeah, you should totally. I think like I think that's perfect. The stick trick. You could totally do the stick trick. Um, yes. Nice, babe. Um, but uh, I watch your videos. Really? I I basically make her watch them. No, you don't. <laughs> but uh, the stick trick is yeah. That's my that's my favorite thing to do outside. Uh, I'll basically take sticks that I find and I'll stick them in the ground. Uh, and they look like a forest uh, for an action figure. It looks like trees. But, um, yeah, I think yeah, shooting the predator figures out in the woods or whatever is perfect. That's perfect. And I've done it. I have um, one predator. Oh, you know what? I don't anymore. I sold him. But I did have one, and I did take a picture with him in the forest. And it was a, it was a ton of fun. So, yeah, I feel like if, if you have a predator figure, you basically, like, you have a huge whatever forest you can find. It's perfect to shoot him. Definitely. For sure, man. Um, Duck Film says, I don't know why, but you seem like you would be the coolest uncle. <laughs> Thanks, man. Duck Films, I appreciate that. I am, he is the coolest uncle. I am technically a step-uncle. I am technically... Step-uncle. A step-uncle. He's a step-uncle. Yes, yes. Um, and he is the coolest step-uncle. Yes, my, my niece, Kaylee. Um, well, I kind of made her call me step-uncle. It's <laughs> funny, but... Uh, Thank you, Duck Duck Films. That is that is a strangely <laughs> weird but um, really nice compliment. <laughs> uh, Robbie Keen says the shark is awesome. King Shark is awesome. Uh, and yeah, we've we've been opening up these. Uh, if you're just joining us, if you've been with us the whole time, thank you. But if you're just joining us, yeah, we opened up all the Suicide Squad figures from McFarlane, uh, and uh, I think they're great. I think they're really good. I think Bloodsport is the only um, mediocre one. As much as I really loved him. Um, and if you have not seen Suicide Squad, go and stink it. Watch stink. it right now. Well, don't watch it after this. Yes. Watch it after this ends. <laughs> I don't care if you have to work tomorrow. I don't care if you have to wake up at 6 a.m. tomorrow. After this, go and watch it. Yeah, and I, you definitely won't regret it. I don't think anyone could really dislike it. <laughs> But, all right, so Lunar Films, I also have a large collection of NECA Predators. Just beware, the, um, they're extra fragile, says LV. Yeah, it's true, a lot of NECA figures, especially older ones, uh, I find them also to be very fragile. Especially because us as figure people, we're like, oh, let me put them in a cool pose. But NECA's not super made for those crazy articulated poses. They're made to just look, to look really good. Um, not made for crazy posing, so be careful, for sure. Um... <laughs> Siva says, 
Doug Films, I know Jared very well, and that's so accurate. Haha, <laughs> you're totally right. Yes, Ziva, thank you. I'm, I'm glad you also think I would be a cool uncle. <laughs> you are a cool uncle. Thanks, babe. <laughs> so, um, Ahmed Zaid, ah, sorry, man, Ahmed Zaid Atajani, would you say my name? I did my best. I hope I hope I said it right. Um, thanks for watching, man. Thanks for being here. Seriously, it means a lot. Everyone who's here, thank you guys so much. Uh, weird compliments are the best compliments sometimes. You def seem like a wholesome man, Jared says Vincent. Thanks, guys. You guys are awesome. And, and also, while you're here, if you have any questions for Sweetheart Harley over here. They don't care about me. She is. I know you. <laughs> <laughs> no, really. Um, please ask away. For sure. And thank you again for being here. Well, I mean, usually I just water, watch murder shows upstairs, so, I mean... While I do the live stream. While you do the live stream, so... <laughs> I wonder if the connection has been any better, this live stream, than usual, because usually when I'm doing this, you're upstairs using the internet or something, so I wonder if... Well, it's if... still on, because we paused that Alien show, so that's oh, still on using right. the wi -Fi. We're watching, the, on Netflix, there's a there's some new document docu-series about UFOs, and that's what we've been watching. It's okay. <laughs> um, all right, so... Kevin Cornell says, going back to the gun question, Deathstroke didn't come with one either, just a sword. There's a gun molded into the holster, but it doesn't come out. So yeah, that's a thing. McFarlane toys just don't come with guns. Hmm. That's really interesting. Um, I mean, with Deathstroke, I would, I would much rather him have a gun as well, but I see him using swords uh, you know obviously he uses swords often as well so that's that's i feel like not quite as bad i feel like with these two figures with these guys i need to give them a gun but you know what you can also do if you go to like doll the dollar store or dollar tree you can go and buy no this is a, this is for, um, for if you go to dollar tree you can go look at the crappy cheapo dollar toys like army guys and stuff that they have they will come with guns and stuff that will most likely fit your 112 scale figures and probably work pretty well so if you're looking for guns definitely go ahead and do that for sure um hong's hong sorry hang solo uh jared when you have the time can you do a video on indoor lighting um yeah, I've told I, him to. I'm definitely going to do a lighting video in general. Um, I'll probably do outdoor and indoor. As much as I, I uh, indoor lighting is something I, I definitely struggle with, um, and that's uh -huh. w one of the reasons why I like going outside because I'm comfortable outside. I'm not always super comfortable shooting inside because of lighting. But um, yeah, I, I, I'm definitely going to do a lighting video very soon. That's uh, one of the next, um, one of the next. Sorry, tutorials that I want to make. And actually, speaking of tutorials, I did just drop one uh, on Saturday all about explosions. I gave every single little cent of information that I know or think I know about shooting toy photography with explosions. So that is live right now. Uh, I hope it is helpful. So if you want to check that one out, that would be amazing. Also, this weekend, I already have another video in the can and ready to be posted. In the can? In the can. <laughs> Sounds like it's in the toilet. It's in the can. There's one more video taking a poop right now. Uh, but it's ready, and on, on Saturday I'm going to post it. Uh, and it's it's more like a... It's not a tutorial, but it's more like kind of like a vlog. Toy photography vlog. I used to do a lot more videos like this in the past, but like uh, my buddy Nick and I, who's also a toy photographer, we went to this really amazing abandoned place, uh, and we took some photos, we explored, and um, with some toys as well. Um, it's really... I think it's... Honestly, I think it's a pretty fun video because... Um, it's it's very different than what my, my normal stuff is. I've seen it. I like it. I want to go there and take Harley Pigs. We will. <laughs> but um, it's the place that we went to was so cool. That alone is just like I think worth watching. So um, keep out keep an eye out for that coming this Saturday. Got a, a new video of that. Um, that'll be really fun as well. Uh, let's see. William S says, "Is there a certain distance you shoot your fireworks um, for pictures?" Um, I do actually mention that in the um, in the firework explosion tutorial, but um, that's really up to your discretion. I you know I usually put them uh, like a foot or maybe even less away from the figure because I want the the explosion to still be relevant and right in the middle of everything. But um, also, uh, you know I just 
I'm okay with them getting a little bit dirty from the explosions, and it won't necessarily damage them too much. You just gotta be mindful of where you're where you're putting them, really. Uh, so let's see here. Siva says, uh, were you thinking of doing a critique live? I think you mentioned it at some point. I, I actually have, I do want to do that too. I've I got so many things that I want to do. I can I think, do Simon Cowell. No, we, we don't want any, I mean, as much as I love Simon Cowell and watch him, watching him be a total a-hole sometimes, uh, we're not going to have a Simon Cowell on this show. Uh, we'll, 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 I think we can have some critiques. Simon Cowell isn't really very constructively critical he's I'll very just up. critical <laughs> i was great i loved it yeah so yeah i definitely want to do something like that i absolutely do want to do something like that um oh zyan extreme wrestling thanks for being here man have a good night um but yeah i think i will definitely do some kind of critique whether or whether or not be live or just a video or something um riley bob says speaking of dc figures in your opinion Best Batman 89 figure brand-wise, or best Batman figure in general? Harley Quinn. Batman 89 figure. So let's, well, ha uh, Harley Quinn is not Batman. Harley Quinn. <laughs> this is this is the price we pay by having Sweetheart Harley on the, Harley Quinn. On the stream. But um, b best Batman 89 figure. To be honest, I don't, I, I own one NECA Batman 89 figure. I don't have any others, to be honest. Uh, I know that Figure Arts just came out with one, and there are a lot of people who are very critical of it and didn't necessarily love it. I'm sure it's probably just fine. Um, I'm surprised McFarlane hasn't come up with, come out with one yet, especially with all the Batmans they're putting out. We don't need more Batman. But my favorite yes. Batman figure that I own um, is mm, Harley Quinn. <laughs> my favorite Batman would be um, I have the Hush. Uh, Mafex Batman, and I like him a lot. He's probably my favorite. He's fantastic. He is fantastic. Hang Solo says, what kind of paint does she use on her cosplay props? I found FX paint for cosplay works great for custom figures. What kind of paint do you usually use? I use, I use dollar paint from Walmart. If you've seen my big mallet, like my big mallet that looks like splitting wood on the ends, I hand painted and hand carved that entire thing, and I used four different shades of brown I got from Walmart for eighty nine cents a piece. Yep, and it's and we will use the same paint that I use for painting figures and for her cosplay. Um, to be honest, yeah, that that paint is is I think the it's the acrylic whatever paint like Apple brand or something like that, and it's pretty it's it does the job. It's really cheap and it works. But I think it's also really important if you are using paint like that to put some kind of protective coat mm -hmm. on afterwards, whether it be your figures or whatever the heck you're doing, because that paint that paint is so cheap it's just gonna you could scratch it right off with your finger. But as long as you put that like protective coat, whether it be like a glossy or a matte coat or whatever, after that, uh, it will it'll hold it on pretty good. I would definitely recommend that. Really great question. Or if you're Hang making solo. something bigger, Plasti Dip. Because Plasti Dip, it's made for cars, but I coat every single prop I make with it. Um, it's pretty much, you can buy it in any color, but you spray coat it with the Plasti Dip. I usually use black and you paint on top of that and the Plasti Dip kind of absorbs the paint so you don't have to put that extra layer on top of it. Mm, so right. if, you're, if you're doing bigger projects or like sets or stuff like that, you can even tape your figure and use Plasti Dip. The only problem with that is sometimes, the, since the Plasti Dip's made for cars, it might peel off the figure as you're taking the tape off. But Plasti Dip. Plasti Dip is, is a, a really cool thing. It's a to staple use. in the household. Um, Vincent Lee threw in a really cool uh, idea. Could you guys in the future pick your favorite figure and think of a scene to take some photos with? I uh, would love to see what you two can come up with together. That would be really fun. Harley Quinn. We could definitely do some. Harley Quinn. I mean, I, I, I mean, I like Harley Quinn too. Actually, before we even met, I had um, at least one Harley Quinn figure of my own. So I, I, I like Harley. One. I like Harley too. You had books though. You had the Harley Quinn graphic novel. Yeah, I, had, I did. And, and um, they were cool. So, yeah, I like Harley, too. Um, is there a certain distance... Oh, sorry, uh, William S. already did that. Um, oh, wow, I'm getting real behind here. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. see, 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 see. Um, Josh Beckman says, Good idea to wear hearing protection while using fireworks, especially being so close to them while taking pics. Um, you know what? 
when I'm like, because I have, you know, I use like the crackling balls most often, and I also have the like big crackling balls that are like this big, mm -hmm. and those guys are big, and they're they're loud. They're loud. They're loud, and a lot of times I will forget how loud they are until I use them, and I'm like, oh, but that's really not a bad idea. I mean, the the there's anything, any idea. There's no bad idea when it comes to trying to be more safe. I mean. I'm sure there are some bad ideas, but as long as you're you're any effort you're you're doing to be more protective and be more safe about whatever um, is always a good idea. I agree. And actually, there's one time I remember getting a uh, firework spark in my ear, uh, and that is on camera in the old July Fourth video from like two years ago that you filmed. Oh. And a spark flew right in my ear, and I'm like, ah. <laughs> um. So that would have also protected that as well. <laughs> so good thinking. All right. Um, everyone who's here, again, thank you for being here. So, uh, I'm, um, all the questions, thanks. I'm sorry I'm getting so behind here. He's a slow-mo. Um, all right. Ashley Nicole has a question for you. Uh -huh. How did you go about carving the mallet? I actually have a full video on how I made the mallet. I think I don't think it's on my YouTube. I think it's on my Instagram. If you go to sweetheart.harley on Instagram, and yeah, that, that name right there. That's what all my social media handles are. Um, if you go to my IGTVs and scroll down, I think I have a video of how I made that. But I pretty much, I had, um, I think there are five eighth inch foam sheets. And I cut those. Um, I think it was 16 inches long and 7 inches wide a piece and then I used a exacto knife to score them in just a random pattern that would replicate wood and I also carved out um, like bigger holes and hand ripped out some of the foam and then I took a heat gun to it because you need to use a heat gun when you're using foam products it's super important because it seals the pores and also if you use an exacto knife once you heat seal it the pores or the the lines you use the exacto knife on will start to open a bit and then I used a dremel so then I went in and shaped the outside of every single one of those boards and then um the indents I made, I made them more smooth with the Dremel and made it more replicable to wood. And then I hand painted accordingly, like the the parts that were um, looked like they had been torn up wood, I made darker. And then I went with a black wash at the end to kind of just make everything cohesive and. Shady. I would definitely, I would definitely recommend watching that video. It is, it is. It's pretty... on my IGTV. I think it's only like a five minute video. I posted it as like a series on TikTok like a year ago. Um, but it's definitely on my IGTVs, and it might. I know that my Joker mallet one is on my YouTube. I don't know if the, um, the wooden one is on there. But I did. I do have a tutorial of how to make a basic wooden mallet without a Dremel. Um, so on my YouTube channel. Oh, so. well, there you go. Yeah. The, her, her YouTube is linked in the description of the video for sure. It's also at sweetheart.harley. All of my accounts are at sweetheart.harley. Yes, they're, uh, they're linked below. I put them all in there. Oh, and if you have Including any other questions, website. feel free to DM me on Instagram. Because yes. I answer all my messages. Yes, yes, yes. Um, that dude says, I don't know if anyone asked this, but who's your favorite Star Wars and DC character? Um, you go first. Who's your favorite Star Wars and your favorite DC character? Mm. I mean, one of the answers. Well, my is favorite obvious. Star Wars character is by far C three PO because he is my golden god, um, and Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn. Obviously. Harley Quinn. <laughs> um, yes, I want like I remember when we first met, um, and she loved Star Wars, and I thought that was awesome. And she said, "My favorite character is C three PO," uh, which I thought was so completely um, out of left field. I would, I would never expect anyone to really say my favorite character is C-3PO. And I, I love, obviously, who doesn't three, doesn't love 3PO, but whose favorite character is 3PO? Not a lot of people, and I thought that was awesome. One time I told somebody that my favorite character was C-3PO, and they said, oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> it's not unfortunate. And Jar Jar Binks is, is, is a close second. Yes, same here. Uh, but my favorite Star Wars character... Um, I, I have a lot of different favorites for different reasons. Growing up, my favorite is Darth Maul because he just looks so awesome. But um, as far as... I think my favorite character is uh, Qui-Gon Jinn because uh, he's just yeah. like... He's... 
such like a um I love just how much like he he's not only wise but like he wasn't afraid to do the right thing or what he thought was right no matter what the Jedi Council thought was right or whatever and I, I really um, think he's a good role model your focus determines your reality and I also just love troopers in general who doesn't love a good trooper you know why sure. I love Qui-Gon because because I have a particular set of particular skills. set of skills yes of course <laughs> that was pretty taken though um, all right, so Francisco uh, Serta says, I'm watching with my three-month-old. You didn't every... answer your superhero. Oh, I, I forgot my favorite DC. <laughs> uh, my favorite DC character is Superman, um, for sure, um, by far. Um, he's just the best guy ever. Um, you know, often I'll ask myself, what would Superman do in this situation? And then I would try to do what he would do, because um, he always does the right thing. And I ask myself, what would Harley Quinn do? And then I don't do it because it usually involves killing someone. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> so sometimes it's sometimes. Sometimes it's, it's not best to follow Harley Quinn's advice. But yeah, you know, in in in, a, in some ways, in a lot of ways, she is a, I think a great um, positive um, role model in in some ways. Yes. But um, not in all ways, because yes, yeah, she is kind of a murderer. But, yeah. <laughs> That's fine. We can look past that. So, um... Innocent until proven guilty. Uh, Deadshot. Hey, Deadshot. Floyd Lawton's here in, <gasps> in person. Floyd. Actually, Deadshot was one of my favorite DC characters for a long time, um, also. But, um, who's your favorite boxer? I don't really know any boxers at all. Um, Mike, Harley Quinn. Mike Tyson. Harley Quinn when she boxed Superman. I think, doesn't she box Mike Ty um, Muhammad Ali? Oh, does she? Well, I know the whole thing that what Harley did was a mock up of um, the Superman vs. Muhammad Ali comic from a while back. Um, oh, I might just be thinking of two comics and combining them. Maybe. Harley <laughs> Quinn! There you go. She's technically a boxer, so there you go. Um, all right. Let's see. Um, oh, see. Um, Johnny Boy. He says, I know the reason why I love Superman so much. Yeah, because he's just the best. He's just the best. Hang Solo says, uh, I had cigarette cherry fly in my ear while driving down the road. Needless to say, I don't smoke anymore. My brother was riding with me. He found it hilarious. I started screaming and smacking his head, my head. <laughs> All right, well, it sounds like you and your brother have a great relationship. And you know what, Hang Solo? I'm glad to hear that. You gotta love love your bros, you know. Um, bros before um, toes. Bros before toes. toes. So if any time your toe is telling you to do one thing and your bro is telling you to do the other thing, definitely listen to your bro because if you're listening to your toes, um, you might have some um, problems that you might need to deal with. Um, so, Francisco Cerda says, I'm watching with my three-month-old. Every time he hears Harley Quinn, he giggles. He's gonna be a fan. Hey, you know what? That's great, Francisco. Harley Quinn! Harley's awesome. Harley is awesome. My legal name is Harleen, so I am technically Har Harley. Fun uh, fact. Um, Cody Franklin says, have you guys seen the animated Harley Quinn show? If yes! not, it's really good. Uh, and it really is a great show. Yes! Yeah, we have. We're anxiously awaiting season three. I can't wait. I remember when, um, when they were first teasing the show when it was on the DC Universe app, which was a great app. I, I really did enjoy that. Um, I remember the first, like, trailer and everything. I was like, this kind of looks like... I remember mean, we're going to watch it, but it looks, I don't know, lame, kind of. But it's not. It's, it's a fantastic show. It's really funny. It, it's, like, it's legitimately, like, really funny. I had no idea. I didn't watch any trailers or anything, and... When we watched that first episode when Harley comes in and, like, beats up all those guys and starts, like, swearing, I'm like, this is my Harley! <laughs> I was yeah. hooked. I was hooked. That's funny. Uh, Siva says, question for both of you. Um, have you ever played uh, Resident Evil uh, Village? That's the new one, right? Isn't no, it? I'm too scared. Uh, if not, I feel like you guys would both really enjoy it. To be honest, I know you and uh, Tucker were having a conversation about Resident Evil uh, the other weekend when you guys were here, but... Um, I've never, I think there's one Resident Evil game I played, it was an old PS2 game, um, and I, I thought it was kind of fun. But other than that, I'm totally 
alienated when it comes to the Resident Evil games. But if this is the new one with the really big lady, big tall lady that I've seen all over the internet, um, honestly, it's probably fantastic. It looks awesome. I just don't know anything about it. And because of that, I've just never really stepped into the whole thing. So one of these days, you know, like, Siva, you and Ainsley got to come over, bring the game. Play it. I would we'll love to it. watch it. I'm just too afraid to play it. That would be awesome. Um... Uh, Lou, Ledoux Santa says, I right, guys, heading off to bed now. Glad I finally caught the stream. Hey, uh, thanks so much for being here. Have a great rest of your night. Sleep well and sweet dreams. And don't let the bed bugs bite. Yeah, don't let them. I em. hope you don't have any. Don't let them. Don't let them if they, you do. Um, Joshua uh, Branham says, Hello, sir. How are you today? Sorry, I'm late. I had an alarm set. Didn't go off. Hey, don't worry about it. You, the, the fact you were here that, seriously, the fact that any of you guys took time to, excuse me, not only, like, you know, come over to YouTube, watch the stream, be here with us, like, you have no clue how much it means to me that you guys are uh, not only willing to watch it, but actually enjoy yourselves watching. Um, helps out uh, my YouTube channel a lot, seriously, just by being here and watching. And I have been, I've been working... Um, trying really hard to to make this channel really really something so the fact that you guys are here means a lot thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you if it makes you feel any better i sleep through all of my alarms every single morning and then he has to come in and wake me up because yes, he's true. like your phone keeps buzzing and it's annoying i'm trying to take conference calls <laughs> yes that's just, that is that is true uh that dude says big tall lady sir dork 2021 so I'm like, yeah, right, she's big, tall, that's all I know about her, she's a big, tall lady. Same. <laughs> but, Sorry. like, that's, like, her whole thing, is, like, she's just, like, huge. She's not even, she's, like, eight Same. feet tall or something. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, Siva says, Village is the best in the series, in my opinion. I will certainly love to show it to you. Yeah. Yes. I, I, would, I would really I'd enjoy that. I'd love to watch it. Come, bring it over. Come on. <laughs> you know where we live. Siva says, um... Big tall lady with big features. <laughs> oh, not same. <laughs> um, so, um, oh, Joshua Brown says you can call me Kentucky Cat if you prefer. Kentucky Cat, hey man, I didn't realize it was you. <laughs> Thanks so much for being here, dude. Seriously. Um, I've seen people play that game on YouTube, that's why I never play it. Oh, um, dang, this turned, this turned into Res Resident Evil uh, cast real quick. <laughs> um, Ahmed Zeed Atajani, hey man again uh, Can I know what is your favorite food? By the way, uh, you correctly said my name Oh wow, okay, awesome I'm really glad I'm really, really glad um, My favorite food, what's your favorite food first? I don't know, I just eat to stay alive I know what her favorite food is her fav skillet Her favorite food is her skilly Every single, literally every single night She makes the same thing It's like this big bowl of vegetables With um, zucchini and cauliflower And fake chicken And um, French onion dip And spinach mm -hmm. That's definitely your favorite food My favorite food um, I wouldn't say it's my favorite food Because like I can't eat dairy So it would be mac and cheese If I could eat dairy my homemade mac and cheese, mm -hmm. but I am I am also lactose intolerant, so I can't have a lot of dairy. But uh, my favorite food is definitely um, I've become quite the quite the burger boy. I love I love burgers. Uh, I make myself uh, some kind of fancy burger almost every single night, and then every Friday I get my burger fry, my favorite burger place. But the family size fries, so I can eat a couple yes. of them. <laughs> yeah. If you have a burger fry near you, I'm pretty sure they're not just. Um, you know, a northeast New York thing. If you have a burger fry near you, go and have get get some burger fry. And if you don't eat meat, they do oh, have right. the Impossible Patty. No, they have the Beyond. They have the Beyond Patty. They can get on any burger. Um, all right. So, let's see. Siva says mayonnaise. Yes. Mayonnaise. mayonnaise is your favorite food. Mayonnaise is also one of my favorite foods. Disgusting. Um, Siva, so Siva and I went to high school together, and um, yeah, I kind of got, uh, every day I would get like a chicken patty, and I would load it up with the, like, four mayonnaise packets that they would give, because uh, yeah, I, I do really That's love mayonnaise. That's it, we had it in like a tub, like we had, or like a squirt bottle, like we had like a, like one of those big push bottles of mayonnaise at my school. 
What? That's yeah, way you better. You had a way bigger selection, but we had like they let us go free with those condiments. It was like one uh, of those self serve ones. Yeah. I would have just. Oh, I did. Yeah, and I remember I got uh, one our, one of our good friends, Dima Dimitri. He he caught on to the whole mayonnaise thing. He started loading his chicken patty with mayonnaise too. He loved it. It was great. It was great. <laughs> um, let's see here. Uh, Siva says, that vegan pizza you had me try was actually amazing. Better than the non-vegan one, to be honest. What vegan pizza? I don't remember the vegan pizza. Was there a Oh, was it when we moved in? Oh, right. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't really like the vegan pizza. Not, I usually like vegan stuff, but the vegan pizza was just a bunch of veggies on a... On That's all dough. you need. All you need is carbs and veggies. <laughs> Um, that dude says burgers are so good. Burger equals goat food. <laughs> yeah. Who doesn't love a good burger, you know? Um, and Siva likes the Impossible more than the Beyond. He's tried both. I think they're both really good, actually. The Impossible's better, because it doesn't have that taste. Like, the Beyond has, like, that specific taste. The Impossible does not. I think I like, I like them both, but uh, I like the Beyond, I think, more. I think I like it. The only thing with the the Impossible Burger, though, anytime you go anywhere, they, like, smush it down and give you, like, half the amount. So the patty is, like, super thin, opposed to, like, the Beyond, which is, like, regularly thick. So that's just, like, kind of disappointing on the restaurant's part. <laughs> I never get it in the restaurant. I do. I'll get, don't I'll, get, I'll get the real burger in the restaurant. Um, but, yeah, um, and I'm pretty sure, I know BurgerFi is around, um... I think in California, if anybody's a California person, just, yeah, go get some burger fry. It's so good. It's so good. you got to make sure you get the family size fry, though. If you get anything less... It's really big enough for a whole family. It's really big. If you get anything less than the family size fry, you're weak. Man, <laughs> I'm going to be weak tomorrow. I'm not getting the family size fry. That's We're too getting many. the family size fry, and I'm going to eat them. Well, I'm going to eat a she, handful. She makes me order the, the biggest fry so she can have some. Because sometimes the then, large is not enough. And, and then, then she I has like three fries. fries. And then she has like three fries. And no, I have and then like I'm forced 20 to finish fries, them. okay? No. But no. then I eat it on top of my dinner and then I get full. M Mandible Smasher says, just mayo is really good. It's true. I love me some mayo. And actually, uh, recently I've been having the Hellman's Vegan Mayonnaise. Uh, it's really... I think I, w I wouldn't say it's just as good. It's obviously different, but um, it does the job, and um, I like it. The vegan mayo is good, and I am not a vegan or a vegetarian. Um, she is a vegetarian, but um, I do eat a lot of veggie stuff. I'm a vegan, but I eat eggs. Yeah, basically. Because my stomach can't tolerate dairy, and I choose to be vegetarian. So. Yeah. <laughs> but. Um, uh, Siva says the Beyond has this weird aftertaste that reminds me of cat food for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> the, there is a very, very distinctive kind of weird yeah. taste that the Beyond Burger has. I want to say cat um, food. It doesn't remind me of cat food. I either. mean, I could see it. The next time I eat one, like, that's all I'll be able to think about after now, so thanks for that. <laughs> Ooh, uh, Tanner says, have you tried poutine, cheese, and gravy on fries? So I love good. poutine. I used to eat poutine there's a place we went there one time yeah. and we got their poutine it's so good it was pretty good but i yeah. can't eat it anymore because it's i can't eat cheese this we remember we used to play trivia at swifties there's this restaurant right it's called swifties uh and they just have this really great poutine we never got their poutine tater tots um a lot of gravy and cheese you know, and we like cheese, get their cheese, cheese curds yeah my mom would get the poutine oh, we never got it was good poutine. and yeah so you definitely can't go wrong uh, with poutine. Uh, Siva says, this is now a food stream. Uh, it is. <laughs> and that's that's quite all right. Um, you know what? That's one of the beauties about uh, a live stream like this is it can go in whatever direction. Uh, and you know what? That's okay. That's kind of what this is for. All I got to say is Briars made vegan Oreo ice cream in the tub. And that, it's everything. Just so you know, you're... you're voice is peaking in the speakers. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. My voice is peaking in your speakers and I'm speaking just to show you the way. Um, all right. So what were you just saying before that? The, um, the Oreo Briars is the first brand to come out with a, like a half, a half, a half gallon, gallon 
dairy free. Of dairy free Oreo ice cream. And if you don't eat if you can't eat dairy, it tastes exactly the same as the regular one. So I highly recommend it. Yes, but my favorite so um I have to I have to eat only dairy free ice cream. Just I get the worst heartburn. But uh, Ben and Jerry's is the best. I like to eat the cookies out of those. She does. She'll take out all the good stuff. But um, there, uh, Ben and Jerry's is just so good. They have so many great. They have just in the dairy free alone. They have three different peanut butter flavors. That's awesome. Damn. Kentucky Cat says, can you give us a preview of what content we can expect from your toy photography in the coming weeks? If you're uh, planning on anything, let me know. Uh, oh, always planning your next shot. Uh, that's a really cool... Uh, I, I do have a lot of stuff planned that I wanted to do for the summer. I have some really cool... So I've really been trying to have more uh, substance in my photos. Often that... And I, know, I know this is just my own critiques, but a lot, often my photos will be like cool action i think that will look pretty but there's not a lot of substance to it there's not a crazy story being told in it so i've been trying to really um change that a little bit with um just making you know it still look cool and stuff but have something actually happening in it and it's like whoa that's cool that this is happening so i'm trying to like really step that up a little bit with the storytelling in my photos so i have some really cool summery kind of themed ones happening um pretty soon for sure uh i'm definitely going to have a lot of different stuff coming up on for youtube i'm trying to really put as much work into youtube as possible so i was talking about it before i've got uh just put up that explosion tutorial it's on the channel right now uh, i had this really fun abandoned um place that we went to it's like a vlog kind of toy photography video okay thanks for joining us bye i'm gonna go eat ice cream <laughs> thanks for joining us babe. oh they're both here Oh, the kitties are here. Sorry, guys. They're both here. I don't want to run over them. Um, all right, so, hang on. Let me just turn this a little bit back to the normal. Um, so, uh, yeah, I have YouTube. I'm really trying to do as much as I possibly can. So, obviously, we have this every single um, every single Thursday. I um, have some more tutorials coming. I'm going to do a water effects tutorial. Uh, I'm going to do a lighting tutorial for sure on YouTube as well. Uh, I definitely have some plans with King Shark right here. Uh, I'm gonna have. I want to do one of him ripping somebody apart, uh, with him eating somebody. I have a really cool idea with Polka Dot Man for sure. Um, actually, my man Kentucky Cat. He just sent me this fantastic diorama that, um, uh, which was just incredibly nice, incredibly generous of him. And I have some really cool ideas to shoot um, with that diorama, and I'm definitely gonna be doing that. I just want to put him here so you can see him. Yeah. Um, all right. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's a great question, um, Kentucky Cat. Thanks for asking it, dude. I don't want to end the food conversation, <laughs> but what's your favorite song? Um, says that, dude. I, I definitely don't have one favorite song, for sure. It's That's, um, that's just too difficult for me, to, for me to make a decision like that. But... Um, I mean, I like a lot of different things, but uh, my favorite kind of music is like more like <laughs> melodic, kind of hardcore, screamy stuff. Um, my, some of my favorite bands are August Burns Red. Really love August Burns Red, uh, The Devil Wears Prada stuff. Like so, metalcore from like the 2010s, early 2010s. That's that's my that's my go-to stuff right there. Um, Steven knows. <laughs> so let's see um caleb murphy says you inspired me to do toy photography dude that thank you for just thank you for sharing that it means the world to me that i can help you get into this just amazing art form you know um and i'm sure that you're i hope you're glad to be into it because it really is just so much fun isn't it it's it is one of the best things ever and i hope that the world oh i'm lean up against him I hope the whole world learns about toy photography. You know, that's my main plan. King Shark would make an insane custom. What do you mean? Like somebody make a really cool custom King Shark? That would be, um, honestly, I would love to see that. I, have, eh, I feel like I have seen some, actually, to be, to be honest. All right. Uh, I give up. <laughs> so, um, Tanner... What did, you, what did Tanner say? Oh, Tanner, have a great night, man. Thanks for being here. I seriously appreciate you being here, my friend. 
Uh, let's see. We got uh, now. I'll, I'll I'll go up to two hours. We got twenty minutes or so, uh, for sure. Uh, Stevie says the new Era album, which is a metal band uh, album, is sick. Not sure if you listened to it yet. Maybe talk to. Uh, I definitely haven't listened to it. I don't remember us talking about it. But uh, yeah, I, I haven't listened to it. It's so it's so hard to, for me to lose track nowadays. Um, that dude says, I gotta go for real this time. Good night, everyone. I look forward to the future content, and I'll watch the rest of the stream tomorrow. Have a great night. Thank you, guys. Seriously. Um, it, it, it just means the world that uh, that you guys are willing to be here. Seriously. Super Vegeta. How's it going, man? Uh, says, hi. Hi. Thank, you know, that is a that is a good contribution to this live chat. You know, even if it's just hi, you know? Um, <laughs> Deadshot says, do you remember when Mike Tyson bit Holyfield's ear? Uh, I don't remember when it happened, because uh, I think when it happened, I was either a small child. <laughs> so I don't remember it happened, but I know it is a, is a thing that happened. <laughs> Hang Solo, you guys are making me hungry. You know, we I was not expect. I love when that happens, where we just have, like, this, you know, a toy photography stream and we get on these tangents about something totally different like food um, and that's totally okay that is totally okay um, let's uh, snap faces hey guys thanks for being here man what have I missed uh, well we opened up all of these figures uh, including, including peacemaker right here that's on the ground um, I'll put him lean up. There we go. Uh, we opened up all those guys, and it was a, a lot of fun. Uh, and they all came with the build a figure stuff for King Shark, and we put him together, and that was awesome. I can't wait to, to shoot some stuff with him. Really can't wait. Um, so, um, Kentucky Cat says it's safe to say that you've inspired all of us. <laughs> you're you're too kind, man. Uh, but what toy photographers inspired you, or what um, what got you into this fantastic hobby? Um, so many, so many, dude. Um, but um, the way the way I really got into it is just like I made my Instagram like right when um, I got my first smartphone, which is like I don't know, like twenty fourteen or something. Um, but um, you know, I, and I was posting, like, oh, got this new figure, cool, check it out, got this new figure, what do you guys think? Even though I had, like, you know, four followers, no one cared. <laughs> but, uh, and then every time I would post the photo of, of, of the new figure that I got, um, uh, I would, you know, take another photo of it, check it out, check out this new figure, and I did it outside, and I did it in a cool pose, and then eventually the, um, the photos just became more and more kind of creative and cool uh, to the point where I enjoyed the actual photos themselves more than the um, figures which is the case you know I, I buy figures specifically to shoot them you know um, but then I realized that there yeah there's this huge toy photography like community on Instagram wow look at all these people taking these awesome photos um, of these toys um, how do they do this? Wow, this is amazing. People have like using like, fireworks and stuff, and that was that was the thing that that really pulled me in. Was wow, look at this like actual action going on in these photos. This is so cool. Um, and a lot of people will have the same answer, but yeah, my biggest influence was Sergeant Bananas, uh, Johnny Wu. Um, he like his style has really evolved quite a bit throughout the years, and it's much different now than it was then. Um, but the way it was back then was just like action, action, like Star Wars, troopers, fireworks, really cool, just like debris, awesome stuff happening all the time. And that was just like, wow, that is so cool. And so like the, his style back then, I think is very, well, I would say my, a lot of my style, you can, you can see, what's okay. A lot of the way his style was then, you can see in my photos now because that was such a huge influence. But um, yeah, there's been a ton of different um, dudes that have inspired me. Just um, thank goodness for the, the the community that's that's there. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That was a really cool question. Um, let's see. 
I remember watching you while on online school. So you were watching my videos while you were supposed to be in school online? Dude, come on. <laughs> I mean, hey, I'm not going to go and tell your teacher or your mom or your dad and tell you that you were slacking off during school. But if you were slacking off, I think you were slacking off doing the best thing possible by <laughs> watching some Sir Dork videos. <laughs> Uh, but seriously, thank you for watching them. Um, you're the man. Uh, Siva says, I totally remember that transition, actually. I remember your photos going from simple to more and more elaborate. Really? That's so cool, Siva. I didn't even know that uh, uh, you really paid, it <laughs> paid attention to it back then. You really, really, when I started it and when I was, when I was doing toy photography, I didn't really... Um, I, I just posted pictures and I put them on Instagram. I didn't like tell anybody like in my real life that I was doing this because I thought it was like kind of weird and like I didn't really like talking about it with people. Even it's not that I wasn't like uh, like I was ashamed. I wasn't ashamed of it at all, but I didn't really like talking about it with people because people just didn't understand. I'd be like, yeah, I like doing toy photography and taking pictures of toys and people are like, what? And like even like trying to explain it. Um, it people just don't understand <laughs> you know because it's so it's so it's such a different thing um and so i didn't it wasn't until years after i started where i actually started sharing it with my real life people and like on like my personal facebook and stuff like that um and ever since i did that i was so i was so glad that i did because so you know you know the more even people don't understand it you're helping them understand and you're you're exposing the world to what toy photography is. So as weird as you might think it is, and what, as weird as you might think other people will think it is, just keep spreading the word, you know? Talk about it, it's awesome, you know? Toy photography is awesome, and people need to know how awesome it is. So, yeah, Caleb Murphitt says, do you like Star Wars? Yeah. <laughs> heck yeah, I like Star Wars. Um, heck yeah, I like Star Wars. Uh, I mean, actually, this whole room has kind of um, got a lot of Star Wars in it, uh, a lot of Black Series and stuff. Can't really see it, but um, yes, I definitely am a big Star Wars fan. <laughs> um, so, let's see, have you heard of um, Mr. Lee on Instagram? So amazing photographer. It says Morgan Stark. Yeah, actually, I, I follow him. Yeah, and he really is amazing. He has these really just incredibly cinematic images. I don't even really want to call them photos. I mean, obviously they're, he's using photography, but they're just, they're, he really has a way of creating epic, just amazing cinematic looking pieces of art. Yeah, he's awesome. I definitely follow him. He's awesome. Uh, snap face. Hey dude, you inspired me to take more action shots. Oh, that's so cool. I'm, I'm seriously glad to hear that. I like my favorite thing is shooting action. If I take a picture uh, and I um, don't have some kind of crazy action going on. I feel like I'm I feel like something's wrong. I, I love having action in my stuff. Um, LV says Sir Dork has helped me find inspiration and has given me such great advice for photography. Ah, uh, dude, <laughs> I'm I'm really glad to hear that. To be honest, really, I'm just like I'm so happy that I could help with um, you know your toy journey. You know means a lot because trust me i i go through the same toy journey too so uh, i'm honored to know that i could be a part of that um let's see oh toy art unlimited hey dude how do i always miss this <laughs> what's up tonight um you know what it's um i've learned that a lot of other people like to stream live on thursday nights which is um it's a busy night. It's a busy night. It's unfortunate that so many of us like to do it on this time time of the day. But um, thanks for being here, though, dude. <laughs> Every Thursday at 9.30, that's when we do it. Deadshot Floyd says, what's your favorite horror movie? Um, to be honest, I've never really been a huge horror fan. I, th I think, like, I've talked about this before. Like, why don't you ever do, like, cool neck uh, horror photos? But um, growing up, I was way too terrified to watch anything scary, quote-unquote scary. If anyone would say, oh, it's a scary movie, I'd be like, nope, won't do it. I'm too freaking scared. Uh, so I never really got into the whole horror aspect of 
pop, pop culture really at all. So like all those iconic characters like Michael Myers and Jason and uh, Freddy, um, whatever. I'm kidding. <laughs> I never, I never got into those guys, so like, um, I was never a huge horror fan. Nowadays, I do enjoy watching horror movies, for sure. But so my favorite movie, I really like, like I really like the Conjuring franchise, but um, I didn't really like the newest one. I really love the Conjuring two. I really, really love the Conjuring two. That's probably my um, my favorite uh, of them all. It's probably my favorite horror movie. I was scared as heck. When I watched that movie, um, for sure. LV said, "I have gone a little excessive on my Transformers collection lately, but it's all for the all for a good cause." And what is, what cause is that? What what's the good cause you're talking about? Oh, the, your love of collecting. That's the good cause. <laughs> yeah, um, it's a good cause. It is a good cause. It's a, it's fun. And you know what? When you have a community like toy photography and, and like streams like this where you can kind of talk to people about um you know toy photography and stuff that you love it is it's cool to be a part of that and collect and talk to people that you love about it um yeah i totally get that that's the good cause toy art unlimited says i agree with with uh with l you're the reason my toy photography game is at its level you're greatly appreciated thank you dude Appreciate that, man. Seriously. Um, seriously. <laughs> Thank you, man. Um, Deadshot says, have you ever watched Planet of the Apes? Yes. Um, I haven't seen the two most new, the recent ones, Matt Reeves ones. Um, I, I just, I like the first one a lot, but I just never um, watched the other two. I just never got around to it. Um, Joshua... Uh, Josh says, uh, do you have any advice on reaching out to companies for partnerships, um, for demoing toys or collaborations, or even just notice and share your pictures? Yeah, actually, um, Josh, I, I did do, I did a whole video kind of about that sort of thing. I didn't go too specific into like how to message companies and that kind of thing, but honestly, like an email can go a long way. Just if you can figure out what somebody, the, if you find an email of a company or whatever, or somebody you know that you can contact, just I think sending an email is 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 huge. You can just take your time and type up a really professional sounding email uh, without sounding too boastful. You know, you can say why you think you will uh, bring value to their company and show some of your work. Um, you know, the worst that could happen is that they say no, or the worst that can happen is they don't say anything at all. I've sent a lot of emails out and never gotten responses, a lot of things. So definitely just send an email, you know, and also when you post pictures, tag your, um, tag companies in it. Sometimes they might, um, they might see it. That's def that's my advice for that. Just go for it. You got nothing to lose. You've got nothing to lose. Um... Uh, Onan Z says, finally caught your live. This is the Rabbit's End Collectible on IG. Hey, thanks so much for being here, man. Appreciate that. Uh, seriously, um, I'm happy to have you. <laughs> Thank you, dude. Um, LV says, I'm going to get some hello good shots of them. Yeah. Heck yeah, you are, those Transformers. Um, <laughs> Caleb says, hey, my sister can't join, but she says hi. Hey, Caleb's sister.
All right. Sorry, guys. Um, I don't know what happened. This is the. This is. It's weird because I uh, I heard Johnny go upstairs, and Har Harleen go upstairs and turn the TV on, and I think maybe that's screwed with something. <laughs> um, so. Uh, I'm probably, to be honest, I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna call it after this. Something happened, <laughs> but you guys, thank you so much for being here. Um, oh, my voice is still off. You can't hear me. Can you guys hear me? Can someone tell me yes that you can hear me? <laughs> Audio is dead. Can you hear me though? You're back. Okay. Whew. Okay, good. I'm glad it's working. All right, so. Um, <laughs> it's funny, L, uh, LV said, Harley must be watching Netflix. That's literally what happened. She went upstairs, I heard the TV go on, and, uh, <laughs> that, <laughs> that must have been it. That must have been the killer. But, um, I'm gonna call it, you guys. Thank you so much for being here. We still made it to the two-hour point, basically. Um, thank you so much for being here, you guys. Seriously, um, I will 100% see you guys next, um, uh, next week on Thursday for sure and on Saturday so in two days I'm gonna drop um, the the next YouTube actual video the vlog video I was telling you about hope you guys enjoy it uh, and I really would like you if you guys do enjoy it let me know because I'll, I'll, I want to know if I should keep making videos like that too um, so everyone have a fantastic night I'll see you guys very soon thank you thank you thank you thank you bye guys